Today guys are going to be talking about um, the ball joints, um, a couple of different style ball joints um, and well, how to service them and uh, what you should keep an eye out for. So we're looking here on a 2006-2007 on a Triton. So these ball joints here are like a bolt-in style ball joint um, and same with the bottom here. So there's a couple of different styles. You'll find either the press-in type of ball joint or a bolt-in type ball joint. So if you do have a press-in style ball joint um, and you have had the ball joints replaced a couple of times um, for, for an old vehicle, um, just keep in mind if you have, if you notice that, um, you might need an oversized ball joint. So, uh, but with the bolt-in ball joints that we'll be looking at here today, um, very simple, just a standard OEM style ball joint um, and then that is bolt-in and still do the um, press-in uh, bolt into the hub here. So you'll find on your independent front end suspensions, um, like in your four drives, you'll have two ball joints, um, obviously an upper and a lower. Um, on something like your Commodores or your Corollas and stuff like that, you'll find one lower ball joint. You will find on like the Ford Falcons and stuff, they do have two ball joints, an upper and a lower. Um, the Falcon ball joints are very common to have in an oversized ball joint for the lower. Um, just because they are super common for um, failing, so they have to be replaced many times. See on the top of this ball joint here, this is actually a, a sealed ball joint. So basically once it's made in the manufacturers, like in the... So when the manufacturers made this ball joint, what they've done is grease this up, that a little bit of different um, design on the inside compared to this one here which takes the grease nipple which is what we're replacing it to so we can service the ball joint. Um, so the inside they'll have like a little nylon ball and a cup socket with grease inside there and sealed and done. So once it's fitted there's no servicing of it, it's just a matter of when it fails it fails. All ball joints will fail, doesn't matter if you have a sealed ball joint or a greasable ball joint all ball joints will wear and fail. Um, so it's just a matter of with the greasable ones, just trying to keep the service interval up with them and keeping the grease in there, you'll have a lot longer life out of them. So, get that. See if this will pop. So you saw there, I've just hit, hit the, the side of this casting here. Um, that's one way of releasing the ball joint presser. Um, so if you undo that nut and not do it, and like if you're gonna do it with the hammer and everything, always leave the nut on a turn or two. So you're not gonna lose this all whole arm and everything out at once. So there is another couple of options. Instead of the hammer, we do have the ball joint tools available at onlineautoparts.com.au. There's a couple of different variances on there. Um, so it makes the job a lot easier at home if you're not confident with a hammer. Um, all right. All right. So what I'm doing here, guys, is going to be taking the lower arm up just enough to take the pressure off this ball joint here so I can take that nut off. Just down a little bit. There we go. Now with the jack, very slowly lower it back down. So now we've got the arm there, all free. On here, there's a little bit of play. 
So this is where my clunk's actually coming from. And in the top of this boot, if I can get it, no, it's not actually split. So you always want to inspect your boots as well, guys, when you're having a look at your ball joints when you're servicing them. Any big splits in this ball joint, <coughs> in this boot, is actually going to let dirt in there and it's just going to prematurely wear that ball joint out. So it's a bit hard to see in the video, but... So plenty of play in that ball joint there, so... Another thing to notice, uh, to take into account as well guys, if you do have a four wheel drive like the Triton here and you have lifted your vehicle over the two inches, um, there is an option available um, for an extended ball joint. So if you do, if you are over that two inch and you're, when you're articulating your vehicle out forward driving, if you're hearing a bang, what that normally is, is the, the top control arm here is actually hitting the strut. Um, so what we do is, is an extended ball joint, which actually lets the arm come up higher and helps you with the angles of the canvas and casters um, and then helps you make sure the um, the alignment of your wheels and all that are good so I'll uh, get in there and I'll uh, replace this one and we'll start talking about the grease nipple and the servicing schedule <laughs> So with all this sort of stuff guys, you want to start all your bolts first with by fingers, finger tight. Don't sit there with a rattle gun and whack one up. You will break these bolts. They're not the biggest bolts in the world, but they are strong. So um, do them all up. Now also the ball joints, the greasable ball joints do come pre-greased. Um, we do recommend after the install and fitting them, uh, we'll go through, just give it a little bit more grease and stuff like that. So all that started up with my fingers. back through later after everything's all done go through with my torque wrench and tighten up everything up to the manufacturer's specifications and obviously with this one same same procedure to reinstall you want to put your jack back under the lower control arm because you're not going to get that there and you're physically not going to be able to lift it so that jack it back up and we'll get this bolt back in and all right so I got all that using the jack to get the pressure off here so just to let you know, all the ball joints I'm using today are all COSA ball joints, so they are decent quality, all come with a two year 50,000k warranty, um, So, but always just double check the warranty on um, each item, some, some, some of them will change depending on vehicle and um, manufacturer, so, so as always remember that the, the ball joints will come pre-greased, so there's not much required. Um, about well with this grease gun one or two triggers in there you don't want to overfill the ball joint um, overfilling the ball joint will actually make grease come out through the sides here um, chances of destroying the boots and all that sort of stuff and then obviously putting grease all over your brakes and all that sort of area so clean it up after a couple of pumps and then back every time you service the vehicle what you want to do is just come back along with that grease gun couple of shots every time and that'll help keep these ball joints nice and lubricated. If you fail to do lubricate the um, ball joints what will actually happen is the ball and socket in here will wear out um, and a little bit of wear up inside here will actually make the ball joint completely fail and it'll come separated out of the ball and socket so you and you'll have a, a wheel fall off or will come come loose so the last thing you want is obviously like that so with the greasable ball joints, always come through every service, every 10,000 Ks, all I do, come along. Any points that have the grease nipples, same with your uni joints and all that, just come along, pop, pop, two pops of grease, and then you're done, you're serviced. All right, you'll find all these tools and parts available at onlineautoparts.com.au.